There's a live look outside over the pyramids down in Galveston. Such a lovely day, folks. So listen, treating symptoms like allergies, anxiety, and depression can be challenging enough, but things become way more complicated and frustrating, of course, when we don't know what the underlying causes are. Our next guest is here with details on why yeast could be to blame. Here to explain is Dr. John Trowbridge with Health Choices Now. Hello, Dr. Trowbridge. Hi there. Thanks so much for having me today. Wait, yeast? So this is not a baking segment we're doing, oh, and gosh. your book is not about baking. Well, we can do some brewing. Why not a little home I was going to say brewing. Here. You went baking? Exactly. So the yeast <laughs> syndrome, I mean, so we all have yeast inside our bodies? Exactly. Well, there's, there's three kingdoms. There's the plant, animal, and fungus kingdom. And the plants use sunlight to make energy. The animals eat the plants. The fungus kingdom eats the other two. Well, wait a minute. Fungus, mold, yeast, mildew. You know, right after Hurricane Harvey, we've got a whole number of years coming up of serious problems thanks to the yeast and the mold. So we're in trouble. We're in trouble. Way well, past trouble. But explain, I mean, what this trouble actually is. So we, the, again, we have yeast inside us. It's, right. Is it like normal. causing That's disease, normal. though? Well, see, yeast looks just like this. It's just the little clusters like grapes. Like the grapes? Stuff like that. And it's no big deal. It's not harmful. It's just growing there like it's always been growing there. And then, Derek, maybe you could understand it's like an innocent cat. It Tell is me like, about the cat. Well, you know how I love cats. <laughs> um, Dr. Turbridge brought this very sweet little <laughs> cat. Wow. And that's what it's like when the yeast syndrome grabs you. Wait, so I don't get it. So the cat, it looks like fluffy and sweet, but Absolutely. it's really... It looks just like those, but then what it's doing is percolating poisons that are then damaging your system on the inside. And people say, well, how, are you, how is it damaging? Well, it's like a pelican. Dives down, he doesn't care what kind of fish that he gets. He's just fishing. He might even get an old sock here and there, okay? And the deal is, is that you get your own collection of symptoms depending on what poisons are being circulated inside you. What are some of the symptoms? Oh, goodness, you name it. Just start from the beginning. Fatigue, headaches, gut stuff, urinary stuff, frequent skin infections, problems that just nobody gets an answer to. You keep going to see the doctor, you don't get an answer. We all think we're just getting older in age, and that's why it's happening. Well, that's what we really, say. Right. That's, that's what we, we say to make ourselves feel better. We call it aging, but that's a disease happening one day at a time. Oh, my gosh. So, so a lot of people then... Sorry to cut you off, Dr. Trowbridge, but a lot of people will go for years uh, untreated because they don't really know what's causing it. Most, most people. Most people. But exactly. So what's the key to getting to the root of the problem then? First of all, you have to have a doctor who's suspicious about it, who does right. the right test, and who knows what kind of treatment you can do. That's the problem because you got, you got to understand, doctors aren't trained in nutritional approaches. They're trained in drug approaches. Right. And if you don't know that you need to be doing something in particular, you don't. In fact, the treatment very much looks like Kind of this old biplane, that's what the modern treatment for yeast, including my treatment, has been until recently because we don't actually understand a lot of the details about treating the symptoms. So I actually have your book because my acupuncturist gave it yes. to me. My son was having problems. He has a stutter. And he was having kind of not really behavioral problems, but he couldn't focus at right. school. And she's like, I think he has too much yeast because he's a picky eater. He likes right. all the starches and all that other of stuff. Of course. And so once I started treating that, it really made a huge difference in right. him being able to pay attention and you know, speak and more. And see how easy it is to do? You can make the change in weeks. Literally weeks. So listen, this raises the question mm -hmm. uh, about cancer. I mean, obviously, sure. in Houston, we have the largest medical center. Cancer is a big oh, deal right, here. Right. Is, I mean, does that mean that cancer is essentially like a fungus? Wait, wait, wait. wait. Did you just say something <laughs> there? This cat is freaking that cat is I love freaking all your props, by the way. And we'll never forget this segment. <laughs> I love how he explains it so we can understand it, you know? The, the neatest thing is this, okay? We've made assumptions that bacterial infections explain a lot of problems. We've made assumptions that viral infections explain some. And then we have what I call the great unwashed, the cancers, the immune system, the, the uh, worsening diabetes, the people who've got stuff that they see the doctor all the time and don't get better. Well, it turns out cancer falls in that category of not really easily getting better. We've been seeing patients come in, treating them for antifungal approaches, getting dramatically better. Dramatically better. It's awesome. Well, no, wait a minute. That, if that's what we're doing, is that a fungus? And that question has been raised for the last 20 years with more and more detailed studies beginning to show here, there, here, and there. Maybe there's a whole realm of fungus diseases we've never really understood. 
So we already have it in our body from the foods mm -hmm. that we eat, but you said with Harvey now, it's going to get worse? Oh, much. Because, see, well, first of all, getting good food is hard to begin with, okay? Absolutely. Harvey is putting all this stuff now in the buildings, and that mold and mildew will help create factors that encourage more yeast growth inside us. But the neat thing is, it's going to be a rocket ride. Because, see, what we've got now is a deeper understanding ever since we've begun to understand this deep blood fungus, which is what I talk about relating to the immune system disorders, the cancers, and so on. We're talking about a rocket ride of people getting better way faster than ever before. Now, this is the, just sort of like the brief live TV overview. <laughs> yeah, I there's so much more sure. questions I have. A million questions. So I want to talk about two things sure, before sure. we go. So you have a new book, and you also have a right. seminar coming up. Exactly. The new book is called Sick and Tired, and it's just sort of the advances in treating the yeast syndrome. My first book was 1986. That was a while ago. But what we've got now is a deeper understanding, the rocket ride, okay? And so what we're going to talk about at the seminar is just kind of how all this fits together now for real people in this era. And that's going to be on October 14th, that's a Saturday, 10 to noon, at the Courtyard Marriott Hotel in Kingwood, which is just a half a mile north of Kingwood Drive on the feeder road for 59.69. And people can just call this num number 800 fix pain if they want to register and, and sign and up. And please do because we actually had a sell out crowd the last time. It's free, but people are curious about how do these diseases affect them or their family? Like right, you? absolutely. All right, Dr. Trowbridge, this was really interesting. The cat sure. still freaks me out, um, but I'm gonna, you know, have a lot of fun uh, with uh, this this weekend. That's just yeast. What is your problem, it's just Derek? Yeast. What is your problem? problem? Hey, for more info on health choices now, or to reserve your seat for the public education seminar, you got to bring the cat to the seminar. Call 800. <laughs> you can also visit healthchoicesnow.com. Thanks again, Dr. Trowbridge. Pleasure. Nice to Thank see you. you so Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Still ahead, the steps you should take to protect your finances after the Equifax. Equifax.